Hey, Scale Nation, Joe and Dave, well, Pumba and Steve here as well. We're at Indoors. Rocks and Shocks in Oshawa, Ontario, here for the 2016 Extreme RC Top Truck Challenge. Wait till you see what this place has to offer. It's completely unreal. Dave, let's go inside. Let's do it. Down the long hallway. And then boom! We got a drift track and an indoor car. Check this place out, indoor drift. This thing is absolutely amazing, and just for the fun of it, hey Steve, indoor scale as well. Whoa! And then, because we need it, indoor pit space everywhere. But wait, there's more. All right, we got Brock here with us. He's actually the designer of this, of all the course, really. Uh, how long did it take you to set this, this, all these different obstacles up? Roughly 30 days, a month. A month, he sit here. Now, what he did was he took uh, what looks like the back lot of a business and turned it into a scale paradise. This place is absolutely amazing, good work. Everybody here has said that this has been unreal today. Now, behind us, we've got the mud pit. Now, I can tell you from my personal experience, I hate these things uh, because they mess everything up. Now, Brock, when you built this, what was going through your mind? What were you thinking? Deep, muddy, and gnarly. Wanted it soupy, and I wanted to just get thicker and thicker as you got in there. So. And it did. So when we started at the starting point, it was not deep. Uh, and you could get some speed. But as you got in, you started to get deep. You hit the midpoint. Now, I remember you saying earlier that you left a few rocks on the inside of the corner so the guys who took inside could still get some traction. If you took the outside for speed, good luck. And then all of a sudden, when you hit right in this area, it was as deep as your truck. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, it was done at that point. Now, did anybody make it all the way through? One person. Was it a 2-2 two -two or a 1-9? We had a 2-2 two -two and massive motor. <laughs> and a massive motor. I, so Steve ran the SCX 10 2 and that was a 20 pound truck when he was done. I ran Red Devil Recon and it was easily a 15 pound rig when it was done through here, but they made it through and uh, wow, what a mess. So that was a really fun event. Watch some of the videos that I've got of that one. Oh, oh, what a I think done? I just split an axle open. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> you can pull it up to the log. We got Joe like ready to do the mud bar. You can reverse back and forth if you want to make mud room or whatever you call it. Feel free to go. Okay. Come on, man. Nice wide tires keeping you up top right Yeah. Now. Start steering into it. Right on. <laughs> Go back and forth. Oh yeah. Where's going? Just this much. I think it's better. <laughs> I think you're at your wood center. Yeah. Tell me when you quit. I'll mark it. Oh, I'm a wildlife left in her. I like it. There you go until she smokes. Lovely noise, it's a lovely noise of making. Well, it looks like it wants to go somewhere. Oh, oh the battery. It's not turning left, that's all the way left. He is cranked, that's that. What? Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> That's all she's got. Can you put a three salt in it now? It is three, yeah, it is three. Oh, it is three salt. <laughs> I think it's it. Um, Taking it? Yeah, it's all. All right, Brock, so now we've got the hill climb set up. Now, the thing I liked about this was this was a double setup. There's a 1-9 side for the 1-9 trail and 1-9 mod class, and over here, a 2-2 side to make it much more difficult. I tried to do this with my 1-9. It wasn't happening. So, Brock, on the 1-9 side, when you were setting this up, where walk us through it. Okay, well, I had a little mound here, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So the first thing that came to mind was figure eight. So then that way, a couple little rough bumps and climbs, make your way around so you gave some time to it. And then some gnarly hill climbs and just mud after, so. <laughs> which, which, was, which was fun, because I can tell you, with the SCX-10, this little trail down here, it doesn't seem like much, but it's more than the steering angle. And this was a timed event, so you wanted to do it quickly. I almost went off the edge. If you fall off the edge, you're done. Now the 2-2 side, walk me through this one. Well, basically, I wanted everybody to have the same type of style, so I roughly did the exact same figure eight, just in a way gnarlier, way gnarlier, as you can see. Tons yeah. of wheel speed. <laughs> you needed to get a lot of wheel speed to get up that ramp. I was able to make it up down around with the one with the Red Devil Recon. I could not correctly get up that obstacle, and I definitely could not make it up that <laughs> with. A three cell lipo on a 35 turn motor running the sorry. pit bulls. Yeah, you're not sorry. You're not sorry at all. So I got a couple videos of that one. Check it out. And go. No, 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 keep coming around. No, no, no. Jim. Around here. See, you didn't say. You I said sure I had to go did. over the rock, for God's no, sakes. No. Everyone else knew it was going on. Now we're going to go down around through the starting gate and up here. Figure eight. All right, look out. It's going to get straight. Oh, my goodness. So now we are into, well, an obstacle course, really. Uh, this thing here, I made it one, I think I made it maybe eight, nine, ten gates, if that. You had two minutes to get from this end all the way down there. And I don't, did I, do you think anybody actually completed it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was, it was a challenging, challenging course. See, we start down here and you can see as you go, a lot of obstacles. Now this is built for all classes so it's really a matter of it's something for everyone trying to get through look even an over under built in here and then like all this guys this is absolutely phenomenal I, I got a few videos of this but the problem was 
No one ever made it down to this far when we were filming. So I'll see if I can get some setup stuff in this and, and figure out what it was. Now, what did you start with here? Just flat ground? This was all flat ground with weeds about this high when I came back here. So uh, first thing I started was actually the obstacle course and I just wanted to be lots of sticks, lots of gnarly man-made obstacles in your way. And, and that's what turned out. <laughs> Like TTC slash uh, bouncer styles. So. Yeah, yeah, and I did see some people just playing in this after, and they were having to bounce through it. Now, one thing I do want to point out about how this event was run, which was absolutely amazing, was you had to do each station, but only the first one counted. So you could go back later, and you could change your truck, and you could try it again to try to improve your personal best, but it did not change your scorecard. So later on, when people came back on it again, and they might have gotten further, didn't change their score. So, and some guys said, listen, I'm gonna start it right here and I just wanna finish this part. So you could do that because the event was, uh, started at what, 10.30? 10, yeah. Like 10 o'clock to 5 p.m. So you had seven hours to go through everything once, 10 times, 300 times, it doesn't matter. So uh, this, again, I'm gonna put my truck back down. I made it this far and I'm gonna bring my truck back later and see if I can make it down there. Now, Brock, this is the one that I found to be probably one of the most challenging, other than the mud bog, which I just detest, but that's because I don't like mud. Uh, this one here is the tank trap. So it's, a, another, again, another timed event. You got a whole pile of, of gate markers to make it through, and you have to try to get as many as you can. Now, you're starting down at the official start gate, going around, coming through here, up around, and then this thing is gonna continue for quite a distance. <laughs> It's a good one. Now again, what were you thinking or what did you have to work with with this one? Well, this was more so of me just trailing every day going to uh, on the trails with all the boys So I figured everything that we had out there. I just put down here because they loved it So and going off by a t real one-to-one -one TTC tank trap. So. I, I did <laughs> Yeah, I've watched a lot a lot of TTC videos online like real ones and I think that this is I actually think that this was my favorite course of the day even though I didn't make it very far. I only made it eight, uh, eight gates, um, and then I did a little bit more later, and I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, but I find that the rock formation of this one uh, was my favorite one of the day. So I think you did a great job for a rock guy. I like rocks. Your placement was fantastic. I felt like every, every rock was placed in the right place, and what's neat is because it's timed, and this is where I made my mistake, because I fell off course, was you could be very deliberate, and you could pick your line, but you'll be slow and you'll get some gates. But then when you try to jam it and rush a little bit more because you think, well, that part's easy because I actually fell off the course and what I would consider a very easy part, but I got too frisky on the throttle and literally bounced off the course and I was out of bounds. So you had to, 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 to it wasn't a, 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 a pin it to win it situation. You had to be smart and yeah. you, your rock placement was absolutely perfect. So we've been through the main build stuff. Now, of the four things, what was the most challenging for you to build? Hill, hill climb. The hill climb? Hill climb was the most challenging. For the small amount of hill and what I had to get everybody to do, that was my most challenging. Now, from the feedback from the people today, what do you find was the, the, the biggest hit? Uh, I think a lot of people like the hill climb. Yeah. The hill climb and the mud bog, because yeah. a lot of people got to watch 
motors burn. So. Well, the, the mud <laughs> bog is good because you do burn up, and the hill climb was good because more people completed the hill climb <laughs> than anything else. So there was a sense of satisfaction that you actually completed it, where I will dominate this tank trap and the obstacle course before I leave today, or I'm going to go home balling. Uh, but it, just a great setup. So I guess, do you have any plans for anything that you would change different for next year? Oh uh, yeah, hill climb's gonna be a little bit bigger, a couple feet more gnarly stuff on it, and uh, maybe I give a couple people a little more time on the tank trails. <laughs> maybe give them a little, little, little longer. We did have a lot of time today, so I mean, everybody, the way this event was run today was phenomenal. It was, it was, you have seven hours to do five events with as many classes as you've entered with. Yeah. Go and do one, fix your truck, come back, watch somebody else's line, come back, Whatever you need to do, but you got seven hours to do it. Go have lunch, there's no hurry. Super relaxed, which was absolutely amazing. And, and that actually made the event for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I went to the TTC last year. I enjoyed myself immensely. I felt that this was up a couple levels. So good job for you guys and the team for getting this all set up. And, uh, and for Heather and the, and the crew from, from uh, Extreme for setup. And of course, Dave here at Rocks and Shocks for the setup as well. So that's phenomenal. Now, I do want to give you a shout out to your YouTube channel. What is it? Uh, Brock Tierney. So yeah. just uh, T-E... Uh, T-I-E-R-N-E-Y. -E I'll put the link below. Just go check out his channel because he's got lots of cool stuff on there as well. And Brock, thank you very much for the build. Thank you. I know your heart and soul went into this for a long time, but you did a great job. Thanks, man, very much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look for more on the TTC. Um, go to the... the uh, Extreme RC 2006 Top Truck Challenge site. You'll see tons of pictures. There'll be tons of stuff on Scale Freak, tons of stuff on Soul Crawl, and then I'll start posting it way ahead of time for the TTC next year for the guys who want to come. So let's get some more video of people wrecking their trucks. I'm gonna shout out to Joe, man. Thanks for coming, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the end of what was an amazing day. This is Dave here, the proprietor and owner and the guy who opened this awesome place, Rocks and Shocks, again, here in Oshawa, 804 Ritson Road. 804 Ritson Road. 804 Ritson Road. So as you can see behind, there's the scale, indoor, sorry, indoor drift, indoor scale, and then all that other video that we took was just outside that door right there. All, it's a beautiful scale garden, man. Brock did a great job. You guys did an amazing, amazing job setting this up. Thank you. Heather wasn't able to stay for us to thank her for putting it on, but thank you for letting us in your in your place <laughs> to put on this great event. And, and we did talk earlier. I'm looking forward to future events here. This place is fantastic. So if you are in the area, come here often. If you're not in the area, come here anyway. So Dave, uh, how long have you been open now? Uh, about a month and a half. So a month and a half you've been open now. This place is phenomenal for a month and a half. Thank you. Any more big, big plans for the next year? Uh, well, we obviously are constantly building and improving. Uh, we have a few ideas for our drift track and for our indoor scale crawling track. We're hoping to do at least one competition a month. So every other month it'll be drifting and then every month every other month it'll be crawling. That's awesome, man. So this is something you're gonna see Scale Freak coming out to a little more often. This is an absolute amazing setup because you can put your scale truck on the ground and run it for a bit, and then you can put your drift truck on the ground or your drift car on the ground and run it for a bit. And he actually has rentals here for both. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, if, if we you- We have SCX-10 base trucks and MST-FXX. So maybe, maybe you haven't tried it yet and you wanna check it out. So thank you very much for having us in your home today, Dave. This event was absolutely amazing. Guys, 804 Ritson Road, Oshawa, Ontario. Uh, come and check it out. This place is phenomenal. And go like his Facebook page so that if there's any, um, any what do you call them, events coming up, you can yep. get the update. Yep. So thanks again, man. You guys have a great day. And uh, Scale Freak, guys, Pumbaa. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs>
Thanks for watching, guys. As always, comment below, click on like, share, subscribe, whatever, man. I, I really hope you enjoy the video. This was a lot of fun today, and uh, I look forward to the 2017 TTC. So, peace, guys. Have a great night.